Hello and welcome to Calorie Counter. This show is all about diving deeper into what we put in our bodies. That's right, and I think many of us, because of how busy we are being students, are often faced with the dilemma. Do we go for the more convenient or the healthier option? I have to admit, I always go for the more convenient option. It's also a lot cheaper. Yeah, and I can tell. Honestly, so do I. But I think that's going to be something we're going to have to stop doing. Because did you know that type 2 diabetes, which is diabetes that isn't developed from genetics, is starting to occur more and more among young people like us? And the main culprit of this is unhealthy eating. Okay, I get it. But, you know, how would I know how many calories are in the food that I eat? It's not like they display on the food. I'm glad you mentioned not knowing the amount of calories that are in the food that we eat. So let's start with our challenge of the day. Mix and match. In this challenge, we'll be guessing how many calories are in some of the foods that we like to eat. But we'll be guessing in terms of another food. So let's start with question one. Another. Right. How many calories are in bubble tea in terms of soda cans? Oh. Alright, let's do this. Can! No. I get this right? No. <laughs> you know like we have a very different way of saying No, this is an X Factor. Right? Yeah, okay. Well, this is X Factor to me. You know what? I'm gonna finalize it and lock. Are you done? Yes, I'm done. My answer is eight. My cans. answer is seven cans. Mm. And the correct answer is. <laughs> All right. So now my guess was closest. So I get the point. <laughs> and currently, currently, the points stand as such. He gets a point. So now let's move on to question two. All right. Shall we? How many calories are in one plate of char kway teow in terms of their serving of mashed potatoes? <laughs> yes, that's literally not gonna help you. What's your answer? My answer is seven. My answer is also seven. That's so convenient. So we either get this correct or wrong. And shall we shall we find out? Shall shall we? Okay, mm. three, two, one. Ah. Fourteen! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but split between the two of us, it's math. Yeah. Math, <laughs> math, math, math is yes. fun. So finally, I get a point. You don't. <laughs> no, put it right, right, right it down. Right, right, you don't. Okay, okay. And currently, the points stand as such: two and one. <laughs> and yeah, so like right now, let's move on to question three. So. How many calories are there in one plate of chicken rice in terms of potato chips? So we have been told to put the number of scoops of chips we think is the right amount into these bowls. So, you know what, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. He has the biggest scoop, by the way, so it's totally unfair. Hey, this is very bad. You should careful that. Hey, this is unfair, la. You know what? F fine, whatever. So, you know what? Let's just go straight to the answer, shall we? Yes. Mm. So the answer is... Ed! Obviously, Ed, as usual, he got as usual. usual. Because he has small bowl, so I am closer to being correct. So the answer is the big bowl, so automatically I get a point. As usual, you do not. So that gives me a grand total of how many points? <laughs> Three points. And you get a grand total of how many points? Uh, one. <laughs> so that means the winner of this game is... Aiden! <laughs> I'm frankly not impressed with myself. Neither would I be, uh, but because I did better than the we! producers. We! I did better than the producers thought we would. They bought us lunch. But they also told to us to read out of these cards while we do it. So let's, let's do the Eden, shall we? Yes, we shall. All right. You can, you can start first, by the way. I'm just going to hear. It may not seem true, but there's a very large caloric difference between different types of meat. With red meat and pork ranking as the unhealthiest, poultry as the second, and fish as the healthiest. So thank you producers, now I'm not gonna die. There's, there's, there's clearly no fish, but you know what, it's yeah. okay. Beautiful. Go let's go straight into the second card right now. So fact number two, don't assume that healthy sounding dishes are always your best option. Many fast food chains like to advertise salads and wraps as the healthier options. It's such a messy. But the amount of high fat dressings and fried toppings they add makes it very unhealthy. So unhealthy that the amount of calories in those salads surpasses the amount of calories in a burger. So sir, you can have it back. <laughs> Thank you, but you're not getting the burger. Well, there you go. Eating at fast food chains now and then is inevitable for all of us. So instead of ruling them out altogether, just try making healthier choices when you're there. Trust me, you'll thank us in the long run. 
And with that, we've come to the end of the show. So we hope you learned a thing or two about how unhealthy some of the foods we put in our bodies actually are. That being said, let's not cut all of these foods out of our diets. I mean, how do you live without bubble tea? Instead, consume them in moderation. Exactly. Thank you so much for tuning into Calorie Counter. You didn't say yeah, bye. 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 Yeah,